Mr. President, I rise today to say a few words about my friend who is leaving the Senate this week, Massachusetts Senator Mo Cowan. I have to admit it, when he first arrived, I was just excited because I was no longer going to be 100th in seniority. That job went to Mo, and I could be 99th. However, quickly after he was sworn in, I realized he was one of the nicest and smartest members of this body. During his recent farewell speech, Mo referred to me as the North Dakota sister he never knew he had. Well, I already have six siblings, but I would welcome him into the High Camp family any day. In all seriousness, Mo was an excellent addition to this body. After the Boston Massacre tragedy, he showed incredible leadership skills. He was a source of guidance and comfort to countless folks from Massachusetts in the weeks and months that followed that horrific act of terrorism. During his short tenure here, Mo has distinguished himself in this body. First, Mo listens more than he talks. His acute observation skills have made him a trusted advisor to many. But equally important, Mo's observations are without judgment. Rather, Mo listens and just tries to understand how we can advance the issue and not judge the speaker's motivations. But Mo is a serious thinker, always trying to find a path forward to resolve the important issues of our time. I can only imagine the important and great legislation Mo would have advanced had he had more time here. Although Mo is a serious guy, he also loves to laugh, mostly at his own expense. Mo's desk in the Senate was offering, often the gathering site for many freshman senators because everyone was just a little happier and a little, little smarter after spending time with Mo. Mo is also an extraordinarily humble human being not the false modesty of a seasoned politician, but the humility that comes from a deep faith and a lifetime of self-reflection. But you should never mistake that humility for a lack of self-confidence. Mo is very sure-footed and anchored in one great belief that his job is and always will be to make the world a more just place for his sons and for all the children of our country. So beyond the ritual of carving a name in a desk and his recorded roll call votes on important issues like immigration, what will be Mo Cowan's U.S. Senate legacy? History may mark his time here in a footnote, but Mo's impact has been much greater. I cannot speak for others in this body. Because I serve with Mo Cowan, I will be a better United States Senator. I will listen more and talk less. I will always remember not to judge the motivation of others, instead to seek solutions with others. And I will redouble my efforts to make our great country a more just place for our children. I will miss you, Senator Mo Cohen. You are a great United States Senator, but more importantly, you are a wonderful and kind human being. Thank you for our service to our country. With that, Mr. President, I yield the floor and suggest the absence of quorum.